morning everybody time for another shave today we're using fine accoutrements santal of absolute so fine accoutrements is look it manufactures soap out of pennsylvania uh, they manufacture pucks little hard pucks now they used to come in boxes like this now they actually have uh, tubs that they come in uh, <clears throat> they are hard of course um, and that being said I went and I milled mine down into an old Tobbs container. Um, so I went ahead and graded it, pressed it, um, and the uh, <clears throat> this one in, in particular, uh, Santal Absolute, is sandalwood and nothing but sandalwood. It, um, this is what they say about it right here. Uh, and yeah, it was modeled after the Art of Shaving sandalwood. So smells really, really good. Um, Strength the scent off with a puck, I would say it's about a two, two and a half, uh, taking into account that uh, sandalwood is a very strong scent. Um, so fine soaps were initially designed off of the recipe for tobacco. So here's the recipe right here. Um, and yeah, it, it, they did a, I mean, it, it lathers up just like tobacco. So it, it's got good properties just like tobacco. Uh, is it a, it used to be one of my favorite soap bases, of course, now that the artisans have come in and they've they've stepped their game up, they've actually raised the bar. I've actually got to go through and I've got to readjust uh, my scoring system. So, there's going to be a lot of that over the next two, three, four months, is I'll be adjusting scores for soaps lower down the totem pole. Um, so what we're using today is we're using an Eric, my Eric Sorrentino Custom. This is pink ivory um, and a silver smoke uh, 24 millimeter uh, bulb knot. And of course, along with that, we're going to be using a sil uh, Super Speed. This is a 1954 uh, Super Speed. Uh, it's a Z3. So it was made third quarter 1954. Uh, I have the Permasharp blade in there on its second use, uh, and this has been Cerakoted. Uh, I can't remember the guy's name on eBay that does it. I'll provide a link in the uh, description. Um, I don't think he's doing it anymore, so, but I'll still go back and do a little research and see if I can find it. Um, Alright, let's go over here. and. As you can see, I've already got the bloom water poured into my bowl. Now, fine does lather up fairly quick, surprisingly for such a being such a hard puck. Um, for being such a hard puck, you would think the latherability score would go down. Um, no, it's it doesn't get hurt by the lather. How how well it lathers? I mean, you can see right there. I've got. Lots of proto lather in the brush so far. There we go. Uh -oh. Take all that out. Again, this is a hard puck, so you don't have to be afraid of uh, getting flakes of the soap or anything like that. Uh, with, like we do with some of those softer soaps. So, and the consistency. I've been it's been a while since I've used Fine, um, but again, they used to be one of my favorite um, artisans. Uh, I had quite a few of their soaps. Still do. Uh, I believe I have three or four of their soaps still. Four, I have four. So I have, what I have on hand is Platinum, which is their take on Creed Aventus. I have American Blend, which is modeled after Yves Saint Laurent Rive Gauche. Um, that's a barbershop type scent. Uh, very well done barbershop as well. And then I have Lavender Pour Homme, which is modeled after Cambridge and Oxford by Check and Speak, which is a lavender scent. A lot more going on than just lavender in that. 
Um, I did have Italian citrus and fresh vetiver, or clean vetiver, clean vetiver, and ended up selling those to somebody here. We're almost there. Matter of fact, I think we're gonna leave it right there. And uh, yeah, I will be right back and we'll continue to shave. All right guys, let's uh, get right into the shave. So it's gonna be a little dry on the face, so I'm gonna go ahead and we'll add some water. Lather is nice and creamy. Starting to pick up a little bit of the sheen. A lot of you guys are asking, well, why didn't you just keep bowl lathering if you know it was going to be too dry? Well, part of it is this brush is better suited to face lathering. Part of it is I'm trying to keep the length of the videos a little bit shorter. There we go. We're there. I don't have unlimited data, so uh, I end up paying for the pleasure of uploading each video, so. <clears throat> Brand new right. Excellent slickness, actually. Very nice. I think I have this rated at a 50 point soap. And I don't really see any reason that that's going to change. You can see the amount of volume, the cushion is actually very, very good. Pass one done. Let's see what the residual looks like in this. Yeah, I could do an entire pass like that, so residual slickness is excellent. Like I said, this, this is the same formula as tobacco. Anybody that chews tobacco knows it's, it, it is an excellent soap. It is a very good soap. So, is it an elite soap? No. And neither is this. But, definitely tier one soap.
go. Everybody's weekend went well. You had it off. You worked. I hope it went smoothly. Everybody's doing well, having good shaves. Good health is important. Take care of yourselves. Constantly telling that to my guys out here. Another normal Monday. Out here in APO land. This uh, Permasharp blade, every uh, razor I've used it in. It's felt really nice. I haven't tried to That's the longevity on these yet. Sure, they'll last a decent amount right now. The longest live blade of my longest dual edge razor blade that I have in my den are Astra SPs so the Astra's in the green and white pack alright, no clean up today we're going to take whatever result we have after the three passes um, they are hybrid passes uh, that's just two and three. Well, really, if you look at how my beard grows, all three passes are kind of hybrid passes, so. So I still have stubble going this way, but. Two things happen if I shave that way. I don't, it doesn't grow fast enough to shave the next day, and the likelihood of irritation grows pretty high. <coughs> Let's see what the album says. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing anywhere. Good shave.
What are we looking at for time? Okay. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my post shave and we'll be right back. All right, guys, done with a nice shave with fine accoutrements, Santel Absolute. So, just to go over what we used, we used the Gillette Super Speed 1954 Z3, that was the third quarter with Permasharp blade on its second use. We used the Eric Sorrentino Pink Ivory with the Silver Smoke Knot. And then we followed up with the matching aftershave splash. Now one thing on this, this is just alcohol, water, and fragrance. So there's not very much skin food in there, so I backed it up with some Paladin, uh, Paladin Balm Unscented that I infused with a sample of Creed uh, Santel Original. And uh, yeah, good shave. So the soap, um, definitely earns its 50 point marking um, it is nice and slick uh, every bit of slick is sterling if not more so uh, it is more cushioned than sterling and that's where uh, that in the lather ability I think sterling is a tiny bit more difficult to lather um, than this is this is very easy uh, so this gets a 10 on lather ability but um, this is just better than better in cushion than sterling is um, and it's just as slick. So, not a lot better than Sterling, but just marginally so. So check them out at, uh, you can find Fine at uh, their website, so fineaccoutrements.com. Also, you can find them at Wholesalers, Maggard Razors, West Coast, I believe West Coast Shaving. Um, Italian Barber, I know you can find them there. Um, and possibly Grumatorium, not positive. So, check them out. And uh, if you haven't stopped by and checked out the Shaving Cadre, become a member. We are one or two people away, all right, one or two members away from Chad shaving that dirt on his face off. So come on, guys. Let's uh, join up. I'll see you on the Cadre. I'm Dagwood Z. Peace.